Welcome to Community-Based Theater. The pieces you're about to see were written by Cal Poly Pomona students in collaboration with their community partners, members of the Pan-African Diaspora, also known as Black, African, and African-American people. The pieces seek to accurately represent the truths, perspectives, and experiences that were shared by these lovely individuals from the community. They are presented by the students and often with community partners who inspired and contributed to them. Please enjoy Shades of Beauty, Strength, Magic, and Joy. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Ayala. My piece is about a 26-year-old woman who always had a great relationship with her father until one faithful day. Valencia, who shared her heartwarming story during the story circle about her and her dad, inspired me to write this monologue. I hope to reflect the special relationship of father and daughter that Valencia has and her hopes to regain their wonderful bond. I felt very grateful to learn about our partners who each had a unique story to share with us at times I felt a bit overwhelmed because I didn't want to offend anyone in any way. Um, I also want to thank Paula for helping us put together our pieces and being so understanding under these difficult circumstances. So please enjoy Daddy's Girl. Single Spotlight on Desiree, a 25 year old woman. I'm a daddy's girl. Always have been, always will be. Daddy, you're someone very special to me. Even if sometimes we may fight, I always love you and you always love me. You're someone I want to make proud all my life. You're special to me and I hope to be successful and I always strive for the best. Daddy, I know your little girl is growing. And sometimes I think about our most memorable times together and how much they mean to me. Like the time I was put in jail because I told you, daddy, I want you to go to jail <laughs> was unforgettable. And I now know not to mess with you. It was a scary experience, but I learned a lot from it. And I'll never forget it. We're an unstoppable duo and nothing can break us apart. Daddy, when I cut off all my hair two years ago, your face broke my heart. The disappointment in your eyes. The snipping of scissors is heard. I know you think that black women should have long hair, but that isn't the real me. Cutting my hair liberated me from the stress of getting perms all my life. I couldn't take it anymore. My hair was damaged and I couldn't fully show off who I was. You told me you're a dyke now. The phrase her father uses, you're a dyke now, echoes in the background. Well, I just, I couldn't believe those words left your mouth. Well, you know what? I am a proud bisexual black woman. I am a part of the beautiful LGBTQ community and I am afraid, I am not afraid to say it. I have amazing friends who support me and I wish you would understand. I know it's hard to understand me at this time, and I get it. Daddy, this is who I am, and I'm going to say this loud and clear. So listen up. I am your daughter, a daughter who only wants to regain the wonderful relationship we once had. I hope that one day you'll be willing to open your arms out to me again, like in seventh grade when my great-grandfather passed away. You were there for me. You knew that he was my favorite person. 
And I remember clearly the words that you said to me. I know your favorite person has passed. But I got you. I'll be there for you whenever you need someone to talk to or even a hug. Those words have never left me and I hope to hear those words again. One day we'll be that unstoppable duo again and nothing will ever break us apart. I'm a daddy's girl, always have been, always will be.